Hello guys, welcome again to today's channel. As you can see, I'm still at the farm and that's, that's how farming is. So um, in today's video, by the way, if you have not subscribed yet to this channel, do well and subscribe. Especially if you have interest in goat farming, pig farming, cattle farming, and little livestock. That's what we talk about on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to start a goat farming in Nigeria. So you are a Nigerian and want to go, go into goat farming. This video is for you. So as you can see, in this farm, we are into goat farming, pig farming, and cattle farming. And uh, this channel is all about you know putting out contents around these uh, ventures which we are into at this farm, so as to help other people. So if you look at uh, ah, if you look at that side, I don't know if you can see it. There are some goods. They, are, they, are, they have gone down. So there are some goats over there. There are some goats over there. There are pigs here. And there are some goats here. Then over that, over, over that side, they are, that's where we do the cattle. So, um, so you want to start your, your goat farm, fine and good. But you know, once I always tell people when it comes to farming, especially livestock farming, you should try as much as possible to always ask themselves, if this thing is for me, because it's not about, it's not all about having goods. It's all about caring for them, making sure that the business becomes profitable. Because it's a business. At the end, at the end of the day, you are raising animals not because you like animals, not because you love raising animals. Because that's, you are doing it because you want to make money out of it. It's as simple as that. I'm not doing it even as much as I have passion for animals. I'm not doing it solely for the sake of the passion. No, I'm doing it also, also to make money from it. Passion will not feed me. Is the one that will feed me. So there are so many. There are like there are eight uh, steps you have to take if you have if you want to start your goat farming. And I'm talking from experience. So the first step is you, you always have to do what I call self-assessment. You know, if you are into business administration or into all these business management courses, let's say you know you did business management courses in university. The first thing they always, always tell you is that before you start a business. You have to do what is called a self-assessment. That is where you ask yourself, if this is for me, you go to a farm where they are rearing goods and check out for yourself with your own eyes if this is for you. So that you not enter what you let you enter. And after some months, you say that this is not for me. Why wow, you have already put in millions of naira into that venture. So you always have to do a self-assessment process, um, project where you determine if this is for you. And the second thing you have to do is to get reasonable knowledge concerning good farming. The mistake most people make is that they don't like getting knowledge before they start entering into a business. You want to start a farm, you don't want to have the knowledge. How will you work with your hands if you don't know what you work, if you don't know how you do the work with your brain? For you to work with your hands, you have, for, you to, for you to work with your, with your hands, you have to already have an idea of what you want to do in your brain. So you have to develop your mind before you start working with your hands. Now, the best way you can do this is to get reasonable knowledge from those who have experienced the goat farming from those who are already into the goat farming. Always try as much as possible to get experienced people by your side because it will help you reduce the mistake which you are going to make. Because those people like those people will tell you what and what are involved in goat farming, and also the do's and don'ts of the of the goat farming, which will now reduce your level of mistake. You get. So the, the next thing you have to do is. Uh, Buy land. You cannot rear goods on the on on air. It has to be on land. Either you buy land, you rent land. You first start around because goods are pastoral animals. If you leave them, they will they will control looking for food and go out of the city or even the states. So you have to always fence the land so as to secure your goods, even from from thieves and from you know wild creatures, so that your, you know that your goods are safe and you have rest of mind. The next thing you have to do is after buying the land, you build your good sheds. Goats don't like water. Goats don't like water. In fact, water is like the biggest thing that goats avoid. Once it's raining, you see goats scampering to where there is shelter because they don't like water on their skin. So you always have to build, in, as far as you are going to have a good farm, you always have to build a shed. In, cattle farm, in, in a cattle farm, you can decide not to have a shed, but in goat farm, shade is very, very important against rain. So always make sure you build a shade. The next thing is 
buy good breeds of goats. There are so many breeds of goats in Nigeria. All Nigerians do have goats. We have the uh, red Sokoto. We have the Bigami. We have so many, even the foreign goats, the Boa goats and the Savannah goats. You can get those ones, you know, good breeds of goats. Make sure that you don't buy them when they are sick. I made that mistake some time ago and it really affected me. Some time ago I lost like, uh, I lost a good number of my goats because I bought a goat that was sick and the goat infected the other animals and I lost the goats. So you know, so you have to always buy goats that are well bred, goats that are healthy, not the ones that are sick. If you see a dog goat, don't buy it. One of the major characteristics I look out for when I'm buying a goat that I'm going to rear is that the goat must be active, must be active. That's one thing I look out for most importantly. Now the next thing you have to do is, once you, once you buy your goods, you medicate them. You, you, you medicate them, you, you know, they want them, you give them antibiotics, and you give them minerals, because those things will boost them. It will boost their growth, it will make them to grow better, and it will make them to give birth much faster, and it will make them to be healthy. And at the end of the day, you have good goods that they are going to sell. Now the next thing is, you have to always feed your goats very well. Goats feed mostly on dry matter. Even in as much as you can give them green leaves, but they feed mostly on dry matter and they get more from dry matter. Now, we have goats feed all, all around us. If you are living in the rural areas, we, are, we, have, we have plantain leaves, we have uh, green uh, grass, that's the napier grass, the, what you call it here is uh, in this part of Nigeria, which is Ibo, Achara, Achara. We have uh, the palm fronds, that's ego. We have uh, the bitter leaf. We have so many things you can give to a goat. Anything that is green, moringa leaf, everything you can give to a goat. As far as it's not poisonous, as far as it's not toxic to the goats. It's not everything you should give, give a goat. Always know the ones you should give and the ones you should not give. But the, the, most, uh, the, most, the most used feed is uh, the napier grass. That's the, um, that's another name for it, the napier grass. Yeah. So the next thing you have to do is, once your goats are ready for marketing, you set them off. Goat farming is very, very easy because you don't spend much on the feed because they feed on natural grass, natural feed that is around and, and available. You don't medicate them much because goats are already rugged animals. You know. So that that's it on this uh, goat farming. There's no much uh, overthinking when it comes to goat farming. There's no much work when it comes to goat farming. Just feed them right, give them good sheds, medicate them, uh, you know, feed them very well. And at the end of the year, you have your and goats mature in one year. You set them off at least. You at least you set them off and make them good money and good profits. So that's it on today's video. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, and God bless.